Hello, good morning. Amoebiasis is an infection of the intestines caused by the microscopic parasite that is Entamoeba histolytica. The other names of this disease are amoebic dysentery, intestinal amoebiasis, amoebic colitis, or diarrhea amoebiasis. The Entamoeba histolytica can live in large intestine that is colon without causing damage. In some cases, it invades colon wall causing colitis, acute dysentery or chronic diarrhea. The infection can also spread through bloodstream to the liver and in rare cases can spread to the lungs, brain or other organs. Amoebiasis occurs worldwide but the most common in tropical areas that have crowded living conditions and poor sanitation. Africa, Mexico, parts of South America and India have major health problems because of this disease called amoebiasis. The amoebic parasite may spread by three different means. Number one, through food or water contaminated with the stools. Number two, it can spread through fertilizers made of human waste. And number three, from person to person, particularly by contact with the mouth or a rectal area of an infected person. The disease amoebiasis is usually a mild and self-limiting disease. It can become a severe amoebiasis with the following risk factors. Number one, excessive use of alcohol. Number two, the patient who are suffering from some sort of cancer or those who are undernourished or malnourished. These people will can develop severe amoebiasis. Older and younger age people are more likely to suffer from severe amoebiasis as compared to the young people. Then pregnancy and use of corticosteroid medicines which suppress the immune system can also precipitate the disease to a severe form. As far as symptoms of amoebiasis are concerned, most people with this infection have no symptoms. If symptoms occur at all, they are seen 7 to 28 days after being exposed to the parasites. Amoebiasis can lead to severe symptoms, though rarely, but in many cases, this will include abdominal tenderness, bloody stools, including passage of liquid stools with streaks of blood 10 to 20 times per day, and this will be associated with fever and vomiting. Most commonly, the amoebiasis have mild symptoms, which includes abdominal cramps, diarrhea, that is passage of 3 to 8 semi-formed stools per day, or passage of soft stool with mucus and occasional blood. There would be fatigue excessive gas production in the abdomen, rectal pain while having a bowel movement and then unintentional weight loss will be there. Amoebiasis is usually a mild disease and the mild symptoms may include abdominal cramps, number two diarrhea, that is passage of three to eight semi-formed stools in a day or passage of soft stools with mucus and occasional blood. Number three, the patient will suffer fatigue whole day. There will be excessive gas production in the abdomen, rectal pain when having a bowel movement or when downloading, and then there would be unintentional weight loss of the patient. The diagnosis of amoebiasis is based upon number one, medical history of eating of contaminated food and or drinking of contaminated water. Number two is based upon examination of abdomen which may show tenderness and liver enlargement. The diagnosis can be based upon the blood test to detect the amoebiasis. And number four, one can conduct the microscopic examination of stool samples for the presence of parasite cysts. And finally, 
the experts conduct the examination of the inside of the lower large bowel and the test is called sigmoidoscopy. Regarding the treatment of amoebiasis, treatment actually depends on how severe the infection is. Usually, antiprotozoal and antibiotics are given in combination. If you are vomiting, medicines are given through a vein that is intravenously until you can take by mouth. Medicines to stop diarrhea are usually not prescribed because they can make the condition worse. After treatment, stool should be rechecked to make sure the infection has been cleared. The outlook or prognosis of amoebiasis outcome is usually good with the treatment. Usually the illness lasts about two weeks, but it can come back if you don't get treated completely. The possible complications of amoebiasis may include number one, liver abscess, that is collection of pus in the liver. Then medicine side effects that includes nausea and spread of the parasite through the blood to the liver, lungs, brain or other organs, although these organs are affected very rarely. To prevent amoebiasis, we have to take care of the following points. Number one, when traveling in areas where sanitation is poor, drink purified or boiled water only. Number two, do not eat uncooked vegetables or unpeeled fruits. Number three, wash your hands after using the bathroom and before eating anything. In restaurants particularly, eat only freshly cooked foods. Do not share the drinks and do not eat uncovered food items. That's all in brief about amoebiasis. Thank you very much for your attention.